Hey guys, it is Max and today I want to tell you why I bought a house out in the forest. So a lot of the time in my life, I seem to have taken a slightly unconventional choice or decision for things that I've wanted to do in my life or things that have been exciting to me. And getting a property out here is another one of those examples. And so I do think when buying a house, uh, the first thing that I kind of thought I would always do would get a place that I would live in, somewhere closer to the city. And I thought that made a lot of sense. And that was kind of the plan, although I was never super into buying a house. Uh, I was always happy to rent for a while. But when coronavirus hit, it definitely made me think about how much I wanted to be in nature and how peaceful it is, but, but also how productive it can be to be in nature. And then I also thought to have a place where it's kind of like more of a getaway place, it's not an everyday place, it can be an investment property, it can be a place that I rent out when I'm not using it. But when I am here, it can be a place that I get something new and access to that's something different, as well as a place that can bring interesting people together. So there was a whole series of reasons why I thought it could be cool to get my first property out in the forest. So for one, it's a place where I feel really at peace in my mind and therefore I can be productive. So I've got a little stand-up desk downstairs, I've got upstairs working station with a nice view of a bunch of trees, I've got the sounds of nature. I basically <coughs> never hear a car or any kind of, I don't see anyone or anything like that. Uh, sometimes hear a sheep or, uh, or something like that, but it's very calming and peaceful. And so there's no tendency for me to check my phone. Uh, there's no tendency to think who's around or what could I do or what distractions or who should I call up and things like that. My mind is very relaxed and so therefore I can really focus on the task that I put my mind to. So that's been really awesome. Another thing that was really appealing to me is creating a place where people could come and be productive as well. So I like this idea of having additional bedrooms, having additional workstations and people can live here for a week and we can do co-living, co-working. We can all write down in the morning what we want to achieve that day. We can do uh, sharing sessions where we teach each other different skills. It's a place where we can really get things done. Another thing is a place to really invest back into my health. So I don't have the space necessary for a gym uh, back in my, my place closer to the city, nor do I have the space for a sauna or an ice bath or you know beautiful trails at your doorstep where you can go for a walk or a bike ride. And so it's a place where I can really invest in my health as well as friends together. We can all come and stay here and invest in our health as well. And so again, I feel like it's a place to be productive but then also be um, really taking care of your health. And then another thing is also I really value experiences as one of the highest things that I can spend money on and buying a place uh, it's not necessarily going to change from where I'm renting to buying but having a place that I can create experiences and put on events and connect people and give something unique to my friends um, where they can't get access to it as well as have all these amazing experiences shared with them out here it's something that I was really excited about and getting this property to to leverage it for those reasons. So some of my plans for the future, right now we're in the middle of lockdown, so there's not a lot that I can do socially or even add, invest back into this place. But in the future, I do want to create, keep adding to this space, create more interesting workstations, more ways that you can, we can optimize health as, as a group together, start throwing events, and then maybe opening it up as a co-working slash co-living opportunity where people that are stuck working from home, and you know, that's a thing now that coronavirus has hit, a lot of people are going to be stuck working from home. And so creating an interesting workspace where people can get out of the city, be really clear, work with other productive people, and maybe even crash for a couple of nights. That's something that I'm excited to potentially transform this place into and open that opportunity up when the world starts to become a little bit more normal. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys what I'd been up to and I guess this big moment in my life to some degree, getting a, getting a first property I hope you guys are all staying safe and productive and I'll see you guys in the next video.
want to give a big shout out to the sponsor for this video, which is Lingoda. And I really want to thank them for supporting my channel over the last few videos. So if you don't know, Lingoda is an amazing way to learn a language in a really fast and efficient way. And one of the coolest things about this language learning offer is it's backed by a 100% money back guarantee if you complete the sprint. So all you need to do is go to all of the classes within a certain time period and you get all of your money back. More than 30,000 people have successfully learned languages on Lingoda. So if you're in lockdown, if you are just feeling ambitious and you want to learn a language, why not give it a go? And why not go for that cash back sprint? So make that commitment and get that money back and learn a language. Sounds pretty cool. So on the platform, you can do live lessons with real instructors and real classes, whether they're private or group sessions. You can see I just booked a class and it's starting in 12 minutes. So these language sprints don't happen all the time. The next one is September 8th and there's the link in the my description with a discount code. So if you want to learn a language and if you want to feel like you're ready to make a big commitment, I highly recommend it. And, and again, thank you Lingoda for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.